Ancient Mars was more like Earth. New discoveries in Gale Crater. The red planet was once more similar to Earth than we previously thought, scientists say. Using the ChemCam instrument on curiosity. Scientists discovered high concentrations of manganese oxide in sedimentary rocks in Gale Crater. This suggests that Mars may have had oxygen in large amounts in the ancient past. NASA's Curiosity rover, sent to Mars, has been wandering the wastelands of the Red Planet since 2012. Drilling into rocks and passing collected samples through the advanced chemical laboratory it has on board. Its main goal is to search for evidence of the existence of ancient life. Curiosity landed in the Gale Crater, south of the equator. The landing site was selected based on satellite images that showed that liquid water had probably existed there in the distant past. Recently analyzed sedimentary rocks in Gale Crater were found to be extremely rich in manganese oxide, indicating that Mars may have had oxygen in the ancient past in quantities similar to Earth. The research results were published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets. Manganese oxide is difficult to form on the surface of Mars. So we didn't expect to find it in such high concentrations in coastal deposits, said Patrick Gazda of the Space Science and Applications Group at Los Alamos National Laboratory. ChemCam a small laboratory on Curiosity, was developed by scientists from Los Alamos and the French Space Agency. It uses a technique called laser-induced plasma spectroscopy. Using a focused laser beam, it creates a plasma on the surface of the sample. In this case, rocks. This plasma emits light, and its spectrum is used to analyze the chemical composition of the sample. On Earth, these types of deposits form all the time because of the abundance of oxygen in our atmosphere produced by photosynthetic life and microbes that help catalyze manganese oxidation reactions. We have no evidence of life on Mars and the mechanism by which oxygen was produced in Mars' ancient atmosphere is unclear. So how manganese oxide was formed and concentrated here is truly a mystery. These findings point to processes occurring in the Martian atmosphere or surface water and show that more work needs to be done to understand oxidation on Mars, Gazda added. There is no strong evidence of life or large amounts of oxygen on Mars. So scientists are wondering how this chemical formed in the newly discovered rocks. The Gale Crater is believed to have been filled with water in the ancient past. The newly discovered rocks have a different texture than those previously examined. Scientists interpret this change as a river channel turning into a lake. 
We are at or near the shore of the lake, Gazda said, adding that such an interpretation is uncertain due to limited data. As Curiosity has not previously analyzed similar rocks, the interpretation was really difficult and this is our best hypothesis, he added. If this hypothesis is correct, then the rocks may have been moved to the area as river water slowed as it flowed into the lake, much like the manganese oxide-rich rocks that have been found on the shores of shallow lakes on Earth. The sedimentary rocks examined by the rover are a mixture of sand and silt. Sandy rocks are more porous and water can penetrate them more easily compared to the silt that makes up most of the rocks on the lake floor in Gale Crater. The research team investigated how manganese oxide could have been formed in such sediments and what oxidant could have been responsible for the precipitation of manganese. All scenarios examined by the team require a strong oxidizing environment. Was the primitive atmosphere of Mars richer in oxygen? Currently, the Martian atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, with only trace amounts of oxygen. The Gale Lake environment indicated by these ancient rocks looks surprisingly similar to Earth today, said Nina Lanza principal investigator of the ChemCam instrument. Manganese minerals are common in the shallow waters found at the edges of lakes on Earth. And it is unusual to find such recognizable features on Mars, she added. However, According to Jeffrey Catalano of Washington University in St. Louis, who was not involved in the research, manganese oxide can easily form in Mars-like conditions without atmospheric oxygen. Research from two years ago showed that elements such as chlorine and bromine which were abundant on early Mars, could convert manganese dissolved in water into manganese oxide minerals. Such a process would be an alternative to oxygen and could explain the formation of rocks like Mars.